most abused prescription drug on the market, but much of the crime we hear about associated with OxyContin could be coming to an end. ABC 15 Steve Irvin tells us it's not because of security or police work, but because of the drug itself. Numrose Pharmacy is a small place, but a potential target nonetheless for thieves looking for drugs. They have cameras throughout, but owner Larry Yee says what keeps many of the thieves away is a simple phone call asking for a rapidly disappearing commodity. And they ask us if we have the old OxyContin, but uh, fortunately, you know, they don't make that anymore. You know. In August, the maker of OxyContin, Purdue Pharma, began producing a new formulation. It has a special coating, which is supposed to make it more difficult to crush and snort. But some patients who need the drug to control pain say it's just not as effective. I do hear some from some people saying the new formulation doesn't seem to work as well for them. Uh, but then I've had other people that have switched over to the new formula without any problems whatsoever. In October, Purdue put out this letter to doctors which acknowledged problems with swallowing pills but said nothing about the drug's effectiveness. A company spokesman tells us the drug is designed to be bioequivalent, meaning it would be just as effective as the old formulation. Meantime, the FDA is gathering complaints about the drug along with the manufacturer. So far, however, there are no plans to change the formula for those who say they really need it. Steve Irvin, ABC 15 News. They're all